In this session, uh, we'll see how to write a Verilog code and the test bench for T flip flop. T stands for toggle flip flop. I will define the block representation of the T flip flop. We do have the input which is T followed by the clock which defines it as a sequential circuit with a particular memory element. Next we do have the outputs which is Q and QB. The true table for the T flip flop uh, which is in terms of the positive edge of the clock clock T followed by Q and QB positive edge of the clock when T is 0 the output follows the previous state It is a previous state. Next, positive edge of the clock when T is 1, the output toggles the previous state. The output toggles the previous state. So, there are two functionality uh, of the T flip flop with uh, respect to the true table when the positive edge of the clock when T is 0 the output follows the previous state next uh, with the positive edge of the clock when T is 1 the output toggles the previous state. So, we will write a very long code for the particular T flip flop and we have told that we would be writing in terms of the different description styles and we would be using the behavioral description style. A very long code starts with module followed by let us define the name as TF which stands for T flip flop followed by the ports list which is T, clock, Q and QB and next we do have a ports declaration input which is T and the clock the output which is Q and QB and we have told that in the behavioral description style uh, we would be using a register which acts as a wire in terms of carrying the data from the block to the particular output of Q and QB. Register Q and QB and we have told that in the very log we would be using the behavioral description style which starts with always at with pause edge of the clock. We will define the statements with if else begin if t equals 0 as we have told regarding to the two table the output would be in previous state else when t equals 1 the output 
toggles the previous state followed by the q bar which is a complement of q and we have started with begin what we do have end and we have started with module we do have the particular end module so this is a very low code for the t flip flop and we'll write the test bench for the t flip flop which uh, defines the functionality of the verilog code it is the test bench uh, we have we'll start with the module followed by the module name underscore extinction which is tb which is test bench and the inputs are defined by register which is t and clock output is defined by wire which is q and qb uh, next we are interlinking the inputs and the outputs of the verilog code with the test bench which is t flip flop unit under test t clock q and qb initial begin we'll define the inputs when t equals 0 clock equals 0 so this is the first input next for 100 nanoseconds t equals 0 clock equals 1 for next 100 nanoseconds t equals 1 clock equals 0 for 100 nanoseconds t equals 1 and clock equals 1 so we can define n number of inputs according to the n number of inputs we do get the particular output which satisfies the true table of the t flip flop we have started with begin it is end and what we do have we do have the particular end module so uh, this is the test bench for the t flip flop which is a toggle flip flop and what we have told the block representation of the t flip flop which is converted to the true table of the t flip flop when t is 0 and t is 1 and according to this particular true table what we have written a verilog code and this verilog code is written in the behavioral description style and to see uh, the behavior of the a verilog code uh, with respect to the inputs what we have written it is the test bench thank you